Hey guys, alright, so I got a request today to, um, to make a video showing the difference between, um, standard, just stock AMD A6 3420M and my overclocked version. So right now, I have it running at 2.4. Um, let's go over here, find CPU-Z, there it is. Um, and you'll see it's running at 1.5, 2.4, um, just stock speeds. So we got that. We've got core temp. Um, it's reading 110 right now. Uh, hasn't gotten very hot. So um, let's run some benchmarks right now. I am going to unplug my other monitor so it, um, it, it will get better scores. So let me unplug that. So now just got this over here, so you guys can see that alright. Um, I'm going to start off with, I don't need Fusion Tweaker, um, performance test. It's Passmark software. Um, whenever you just type in something benchmark, this is usually the first thing that comes up. Zero days left. Oh, shit. Let's hope it still works, even though it's Fired. It's just collecting some info right now. Um, shouldn't take too long. Test CPU. Still gathering. All right, it's running the CPU test right now. It's going to take a little bit, so just, yeah, sorry about this. Alright, so you can see it's score right there. Um, it would probably help if I had in higher performance. So it wasn't high performance, okay. So it gets a 2032. That's a 2032. Um, that's um, that's pretty bad, actually. It scores about what a Core 2 Duo at 3 gig. So um, yeah, temps not that not that bad at all. 137. Um, as you can see, it's right right there is the max. Uh, it's running at 109 right now, but let's go through and um, let's overclock this. So let me get my speeds up. Um, I'm just gonna do these two. Whoops. Apply that so it runs at 2.9 now, and let's rerun the test. Running at 2.9 and 2.3, yeah, it'll fluctuate. Um, you really can't, you really can't help that. And I will max it out for you guys later uh, when this finishes, and I show you this result. As you can see, the test doesn't take nearly as long. And as you can see, it jumped a good 800 points right there, 800 calculations per second. So that's pretty good. It gets a 
2894 now. Um, core temp says the max temp has gone up to 146. Uh, it's running at 112, 113, 111 now. Um, so it's not that bad. And last, I'm going to max it out. I'm going to put P1 here at 2.9 and increase the voltage also so it runs all the time at 2.9. Let me just do this really quick. Um, I would not recommend doing this at all, by the way, if you're going to run some heavy stuff. This is really just for benchmark purposes only, you know, just to, just to test its maximum. So if you're, if you're doing stuff, um, stick to what I put in the videos. Don't do this. Um, it's just strictly for the benchmark test. You will eventually burn up your computer running at 2.9 constantly. Um, you'll really only run at 2.3 and 2.9 when it needs it, or if it gets, say, too hot, it'll, um, it'll cool itself down at 2.3. Let's see what core temp's telling us. 172. Um, it's getting a little hot. Like I said, it's, um, it's really it's running really hard right now so don't worry and now your score increases another 600 points so overall that's really good it went from about a 2000 to a 35 and um, I've even seen it hit 3655 that's my max um, so yeah that's great that's great calculations per second um, it's almost right up there by the AMD Phenon 955 uh, quad core so that's that's really good um, for this processor and for the price really you pay for it um, pretty cheap I have to say and um, yeah so that's um, that's this and I want to talk about core temp now um, what I've seen with the temperature running it overclocked is it doesn't really make that much of a difference um, under a light load. Now over a very heavy load, overclocked or not overclocked, it's still going to make a lot of, um, it's, it's still going to produce a lot of heat. So you guys need to understand that. Um, what I'm doing is increasing the speed which does make it hotter but it's, um, and also the multiplier, but it doesn't get a whole lot hotter. I mean, I could run Cinebench, and I can I can do a 3D a 3D test, and that'll take another 10 minutes. But um, I'm not gonna do that. So the thing is, if you want to overclock it, you just got to be a little careful. You got to watch your temps. Um, it will step down if it gets too high. It'll step the speeds down, the voltage down, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But I always have core temp open no matter what, looking at the speeds when I'm playing games. I'm doing some heavy duty stuff uh, like running handbrake maybe so just don't let it hit 190 200 when you're in that range you should really um you should really watch out it should not be running at 2.9 that hot but um also what you guys need to do I don't know if you can see down here but um I have a cooling pad for my uh, computer um, it really does help the cooling pad so it's just something to keep in mind you know get a cooling pad it really does make a difference um well that's it for now i hope that answers your questions um so yeah just message me comment and um i hope you guys out all right thanks